We live in 21st century where we can enjoy the benefits of high technology. People made a reusable rocket. People made an AI robot. People made a self-driving car. But at the same time, a huge number of people suffer from unnecessary disease and poverty. Let me tell you what Bill Gates and Melinda Gates did. In 2000, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates founded a $50 billion private foundation, and it became the largest foundation in the world. This foundation has goals to solve disease and poverty problems in the world. In 1988, there were 350,000 polio cases in the world, and 75% of cases were from Africa. So, Bill and Melinda Gates thought we should make a stop. They donated $2 billion. The polio cases were getting decreased. In 2008, Nigeria was the last country that had cases in Africa. They made a polio map in Nigeria. They got information about vaccination rates, populations, and they knew the area where healthcare workers should go first. In 2010, the number of polio cases has decreased to 97%. In 2019, WHO announced the end of polio in Africa. With uh, disease eradication, if you get to zero, that's magic because then Warren Buffett, forty-six billion dollars. Bill Gates and Melinda Gates, thirty-six billion dollars. Azim Premj, twenty-one billion dollars. Chuck Finney and George Soros, eight billion dollars. They have donated to help people who suffer from unnecessary disease and poverty. And I think we should do something like them. Like what Jordan Peterson said. There's more suffering in the world than there should be, and I could probably do something about that. And you mm -hmm. can do something about that. So go do something about it. When you're 80, you can look back on your life and say, well, you know, there's less suffering in the world. I mean, this is part of the reason I like people. Like Bill Gates is a great example, man. That guy, is, he's after five major diseases at the same time, right? He's trying to wipe out polio. He's trying to wipe out malaria. It's like, well, what should you do with your life? Well, you know...